Joining us now is Associate Professor Alex Cook, Vice Dean of Research at NUS's Sosri Hawk School of Public Health. Professor Cook has shared his insights many times on the show, and he's here once again for his quick take as we move on to Dos Gone Green. Thank you for joining us, Professor. So, what are the three biggest lessons you think we should take from the past few years? Well, I think the first is the readiness of so many of us to take steps to prevent spread of COVID. I think that many of these steps can also protect us from other pathogens going forward. Mask wearing has become normalized, and I hope that it becomes habit to put on a mask if you're feeling sick, if you're not able to work from home, even if it's not COVID, but it's a cough or a cold. So don't throw out the masks just yet, just because you don't need to wear them on public transport. Secondly, um, so many of us went out to get vaccinated over the last few years, and I would love it if we could get more people to get regularly, routinely vaccinated for flu and for other bugs. We shouldn't forget that on average, two or three people in Singapore die every day from flu. And so it's currently a lot more dying from flu than from COVID. The government did a great job in encouraging COVID vaccination by making it free and easy to get. So why not do the same for other vaccines that we know are effective and are cost effective? The third lesson that I think we should take heed of is the situation of our migrant workers. In the first six months of 2020, cases in Singapore were on par with those in America after you adjust for population size. And that is primarily because of the outbreak in our extremely high density foreign worker dormitories. After that first wave, um, our foreign workers were subject to really tight restrictions for way too long. And to my mind, this is the major black mark in Singapore's response, which is otherwise very good. Um, and so one lesson that we should remember, we ought to remember in the years ahead, is that if we don't improve the living conditions of our foreign workers, even though it may cost us money to do so, we will remain at risk of major outbreaks occurring within our borders. Finally, I think that although these few last few years have been very hard, the reward for that has been a death rate that is less than 10% of that in America, for example. If we had controlled it as well, the same way that the Americans had, well over 15,000 people would have died in Singapore. Many of us, maybe most of us, would have known someone who had died of COVID. And so these people that we saved were saved by the efforts of all of us. We wore our masks. We worked from home. We tested ourselves regularly. We limited social gatherings. And because of that, we managed to save thousands of lives. I really hope that there's no COVID pandemic or anything like COVID again. But the final point I really want to make is that if there is another pandemic like COVID or for other catastrophes like the climate crisis, I think that our experience over the last few years has shown us that we can have confidence in the people of Singapore being able to come together to fight it successfully. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.